Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie, long time no see. I hope that everyone is doing well. I am finally back with time to film because we got married. It was so just, I have no words. It was everything. I am so happy. I'll put some pictures. Um, <laughs> I'm about to just start gushing but ugh, it was just it was magical it was wonderful it was lovely and the best part of it was getting to marry my now wife so i've changed my name here on youtube i am now mrs stephanie levin so reintroducing myself uh, i i can't wait to just sit down and put a post a whole video of just me talking about wedding stuff. I want to talk about planning. I want to talk about things that I learned, things that I would do differently, things that I feel like went really well, and then just talk about the whole experience in general. And I'm going to see if Leo wants to be in it with me. I just think that that would be really fun. Um, so not to just skip over it because I seriously could dedicate a very long time just talking about our wedding um, but I also want to talk about wax because it has been so long since I've sat down and made a wax video I have not sat down and filmed since the last empties that I posted I still have the second half of my October empties and I've been saving of course all of my November empties as well I'm going to just probably not do it in one whole video but I'm like mixing it all together and it's just gonna be the second half of October and the first half of November empties. I have also not been buying wax really much at all. I had customs with Fantasy Wax Melts and Swanky, so I bought wax those two times. Um, my Fantasy Wax ones came. They are so good. I'm going to make a video um, for those. And um, the Swanky stuff hasn't come yet, but I haven't purchased wax in a good minute but I have gotten in a few pre-orders but none of them have been too sizable. I got so behind that the last like larger haul that I had was Dessa's and I just waited too long. I wanted to put that wax away and start using it so I just decided that I will talk about those scents in my empties but yesterday um so this pre-order that just came um it's Glitterati I'm sure you can see from the title, I can't imagine that I titled it anything else. This is a Glitterati pre-order haul. I love Glitterati. Let me just say, I have not had a scent from Glitterati that hasn't performed for me. Every single thing that I've tried has been absolutely incredible. The scents are amazing. The blends are fantastic. All of the oils that she uses are just such quality. You can tell the texture of the wax is so perfect for chopping. I am, I love to chop a good Glitterati souffle. I also really like chopping Swanky. They are similar in texture, but I was so happy to get this Glitterati order. Glitterati pre-orders are intense and the couple that I have ordered from, I've tried to keep my orders smaller so that I could ensure that I got everything, but I just went for it this time. The pre-orders have been now be, um, remaining open for like, <laughs> this sounds crazy, for like 20 minutes instead of like two. I think, um, I'm not sure how long the last one was open, but I decided to take my chances. I got on right at the time and I managed to place my order. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and jump into this Glitterati. I have so many good scents. If you ordered from this pre-order that was just shipped out, let me know if you got any of these. Let me know also some of your favorite Glitterati scents so that I can request them going forward. Like I said, I'm not buying wax that much, but Glitterati is a vendor that is up there for me, that is quality, that is super consistent, that always works, that when I do buy wax, they are one that I'm going to be purchasing from. So should I start with the snap bars or the souffles? Let's start with the snap bars. Okay. First one here is called My Dear Amora. This is smoked vanilla and then Amora, which is a blend of almond, sandalwood, sugar, musk, and oats. 
with smoked vanilla. I thought that that was so contradictory in a way because I imagine this Amora scent to almost smell like um, like an oatmeal bath or something really soothing and creamy. And then smoked vanilla is so smoky. So I was wondering how these would do together. This scent is absolutely incredible. This is one that I, I did quick sniff these yesterday. I was blown away by how much I like this one. The smokiness is definitely prominent. It is a smoky scent. You can't get away from that if you don't like smoky this is not going to be for you because that smoked vanilla is front and center. But then you get this warm, gentle, relaxing, soothing scent that's not quite sweet, but just um, very, very um, soft, very gentle. Like I said, that almond, the oats. I think that the musk gives it a little bit of a like body care, um, almost unisex perfume type of fragrance to the smoke that makes it not campfire or anything. But this is really, really good. Definitely a bedroom or bathroom scent for me, but I'm really looking forward to melting this. Interesting combination that turned out really nice. Also, if you see my nails, please excuse them. They are not good right now. I am going to attempt to do Gel X on myself tomorrow because my supplies haven't all come yet. So they are just in their worst form right now. Also, got new glasses i am hoping that they look good on camera i'm nervous i'm not gonna lie but i also have clear ones like i had before these are very new and a very big change and also sorry i'm all over the place the level to which my prescription changed i have no idea how i thought i was seeing clearly before but anyway back to my glitterati this one is pink dream pink sugar strawberry pound cake palo santo and sugar cookie royale i feel like this is kind of just a quintessential me scent the mixture of pink sugar and strawberry it's so good it's a very nice feminine fruity scent it's not a juicy fruit it's more of a body care fruit and then sugar cookie royale one of my favorite notes it's just such a good sweet sugar cookie some of the oils out there are more of a soft dense sugar cookie some are more of a crunchy sugar cookie like with crystallized sugar sprinkles on top this one is definitely more of the doughy gooey sugar cookie and then Palo Santo, it just adds a little depth for this one. When you mix Palo Santo and pink sugar, pink sugar definitely always still prevails. Palo Santo just gives it a little bit of an edge, a little bit of a smoke and cuts on that like super, super feminine, sugary, girly, almost cotton candy fragrance. The sugar cookie in here though is so good. I definitely get that bakery and then strawberry pound cake is just a hint. This is really, really good. Um, another for me, probably bedroom bathroom. All of these snap bars I got um, in this size either because I wasn't sure if I was going to like the scent or because I knew it would be a bedroom bathroom scent. It just takes too long to get through a souffle in my bedroom and bathroom unless I'm really obsessed with the set so I try to keep it small for those this one is dream cabin cashmere cedar balsam smoked vanilla and toasted mallow this one I think I got in this in a snap bar just because I have so much that is similar to this but I've never tried anything from glitterati like this so I just wanted to see how it was done this is really really good I almost smell a this balsam almost has that um, fruity undertone that pine needles can have. Not pine, balsam needles. This one, I don't get a whole lot of that smoked vanilla. It's mainly balsam with that cashmere cedar. Cashmere cedar is like a slightly earthy body care. It's very, very body care. It's rich. It's luxurious. It's not super treat. What makes this a tree scent is the balsam. 
this is this is really good I like all balsam scents you really can't go wrong for me um but this one is primarily balsam the other notes are not not coming through a lot but I'm fine with it like I said balsam is right up my alley this one is warm nights Beach Nights, Warm Vanilla Sugar, Vanilla Lace, and Let Them Eat Cake. This one definitely would be a bedroom bathroom scent. It's also, I know, going to be a summery scent. So at this time of the year, snap bar size is more than appropriate. I also have never tried Glitterati's Beach Nights. And for me, that is a note that I love from some vendors and I'm not a big fan of from others. So this is the Beach Nights that I really like. It's sweet. It is almost has a hint of like coconutiness to it it is it's not harsh or like overly aquatic or overly perfumey in any way and then warm vanilla sugar and vanilla lace two vanilla body care fragrances they have that undertone of like a slight orchid um a slight like sugar cube and then Let Them Eat Cake is also another sweet body care fragrance. It's a perfume type. So this is basically summery, vanilla, perfumey body care. Um, I really, really, really like that one. That is one where if we were in a different time of the year, I would probably get that in a bigger size. Really, really nice. This one is Smooth Talker, Pistachio Pudding Cake, Pink Sugar, Sugar Cookies, and Ice Cream Scoop Red. I don't think I've ever had pink sugar with pistachio before. As I said that, I was remembering one that I have. I have had pink sugar with pistachio before and I liked it. I just wasn't sure how it was going to go with all of these other notes. Also, pistachio for me, I love a pistachio scent, but I do prefer it in smaller doses. I don't melt it all the time. Also, I prefer some to others and I'd never tried Glitterati. But Glitterati never does me wrong. This is such a good pistachio. To me, I mainly just smell pistachio, but it doesn't smell like a typical pistachio pudding cake oil that almost has like that vanilla butter fudge quality because of the pudding cake. I guess the pink sugar sugar cookie and ice cream scoop bread just take the best parts of this pistachio and make it this really enhanced kind of elevated luxurious pistachio almost as if it was in a pistachio in a very very um rich high-end lotion I really like this one another one that now that I know I probably would get in a souffle size this one is North Pole Nights North Pole Peppermint Fireside Fraser Fir and Vanilla I am not always a big peppermint for person. I always say I need it to be a whisper, not a scream. It has to be the slightest hint, but I will say when I do find myself enjoying peppermint a lot is when it is with a tree scent because it just gives it this like hint of cool air to it instead of it being like a peppermint candy um, in those outdoorsy blends. So I thought this one would be fun to try for the winter time. And I do really like this. This is doing the peppermint exactly how I like. It is a whisper and not a scream. This reminds me of, oh, what is it called? It's that one from Teddy B's that I'm really obsessed with. That was my favorite, favorite from the last pre-order. I can't remember. I feel like it's, ugh, I don't know. I'm going to have to look. I'll put the name here. It reminds me of that. It is mainly just this super nice outdoorsy tree scent, but the peppermint gives it this atmospheric note to it because it smells almost like um, a brisk cool air or some freshly fallen snow. And then especially with that fireside, this is so good. I can't wait to melt this on a cool winter night. It's going to be so, so great. Such a vibe. This one is Cozy in here, cocoa butter cashmere, roasted pine cones, and balsam. Cocoa butter cashmere is a note for me that I just can't decide how I feel about it. I, I like it sometimes and other times it's just too powdery, 
for me, I guess powder is the best or soapy to powder your soapy for me sometimes. But I just wondered with balsam and roasted pine cones, what would that be? And this, I mainly just smell that cocoa butter cashmere. It is that soapy scent. But when I really focus on it, I get that nice balsam and um, like woodsy pine cone with the cocoa butter cashmere. I think that this could turn into just like a warm wintry scent on on warm once it's melted so i am looking forward to giving that one a try it is a very different type of set those were all of my snap bars so now i will i'll go ahead and do the two samples really quick and then i'll get into the souffles so this first sample is in strawberry crumb cake and toasted marshmallows i cut glitterati samples in half this is actually better strawberry than I thought when I smelled it yesterday. It's taking on more of that strawberry jam quality that I like. I think that this will be good on warm. Almost reminds me of that scent from Rose Girl's Strawberry Mallow Bread, even though this is a strawberry crumb cake scent. It has that strawberry jam quality. It's not artificially or anything on cold, so hoping on warm that it will just remain the same, and I think I'll enjoy that. This one here is striped so striped stockings, which is kind of a tom tongue twister. Hey, <laughs> hey, I I'm an ex theater kid, and we used to do tongue twisters all the time to do pronunciation and enunciation, projection and enunciation. I quit. Okay, this is apple cider donut and glazed bread pudding and custard. This is definitely that holiday apple. It's that apple cider for sure. It has those like clove spices, maybe a little orange peel in it. I definitely smell a little bit of cinnamon from the bread pudding, but this definitely has a bakery base. You smell the bakery for sure. The custard makes it a little more creamy. I think this will be really good. This is right up my alley. Don't know how my wife... <laughs> I just love that I can say that. Don't know how my wife will feel about the apple. So this is um this is a sample. It's gonna be going in my bathroom and office. So now I will get into my souffles. This first one is bear treats, bear claws, zucchini bread, cookies and cupcakes, and marshmallow fluff. Heavy bakery. You really can't go wrong for me. No more needed to say. Need I say more? I am talking in just the most abnormal way right now. Oh, this is so good. Mm, I love a good Bear Claws oil. The fried dough in that is very prominent to my nose and it's definitely a cinnamon sugar, not any type of spicy cinnamon. Zucchini bread is, you know, that's my girl. I, I love her work. And when you mix zucchini bread with a fried dough scent, it just really enhances that deep, heavy bakery. And then you get the cookies that I smell for sure. There's definitely just a vanilla cookie scent in there. And I even get a little bit of that cupcake, marshmallow fluff. It's not something that in a blend like this is gonna stick out. I'm sure it just adds sweetness, but this is a really, really good heavy bakery. I cannot wait to melt this one. This one is holiday season, balsam, sugar cookies, buttercream, and a hint of cinnamon. If there's one thing about me, a tree scent with a bakery scent is gonna get me every time. And I melt them year round, but they become more popular for purchase this time of year. So I always love when that comes around. Um, summer wax is not my thing. Winter wax is my thing. This is so, so good. I Like I said, a tree in a bakery, it's going to get me every time. This smells like a, uh, it smells like you are baking on Christmas Eve. You're baking fresh cookies with some fresh icing on top. You smell that rich balsam in the back. And then that hint of cinnamon is done so tastefully. 
I smell it, but it really just smells like a little bit of an elevation to the balsam. It does not take over. It's not spicy and it doesn't take away from the bakery part of it. Really, really nice blend. I cannot wait to melt that one as well. I can't wait to melt all of these. It really goes without saying. This one is Cindy Lou Who Vanilla Eggnog Lou's Bakery, which is a absolutely delicious, just heavy bakery scent. Um, I feel like it's the most popular blend from Glitterati. So Vanilla Eggnog Lou's Bakery Cinnamon Toast and Zucchini Bread. Another heavy bakery just with a little bit of a holiday touch with that eggnog. Yeah, this is just delicious, heavy, heavy, dense bakery, but you get that beautiful vanilla eggnog scent. I love an eggnog scent. Eggnog, to me, it is creamy. It is rich. It's almost like a vanilla butter fudge and an amaretto and a very light cinnamon mixed together. That's how I would describe an eggnog. Really like that one. This is another loose bakery blend. This is Richie Rich. Chestnuts and brown sugar, Lou's Bakery, zucchini bread, and cake batter. Somewhat similar to the last one, but instead of eggnog, we have chestnuts and brown sugar. And then instead of cinnamon toast, we have cake batter. So I think this one is going to be more nutty, less cinnamony, and maybe a little more gooey with that cake batter. Yeah, that's like exactly what it is. This one really smells like that Lou's Bakery. I have Lou's Bakery on its own. And I love it. It smells, it smells like Lou's Bakery if you just had a hint of that sweet chestnut and brown sugar. Note the chestnut and brown sugar oil, it's so good. It has this richness and the nuttiness is not overdone. It's really, really nice. It's a little, it's like a warm scent. It's a little toasty, not smoky, but just warm. And I like that. Yeah, this is just, I have a lot of heavy bakery going on here. I think that if I had to pick a scent category that was just, like if I could melt only one thing forever, it would be heavy bakery. It is my original love and I will always gravitate towards scents like that. This one is a blanket of snow. So this is spearmint, creamy vanilla, coconut, teak, and creme brulee. When I read this, I immediately, the alarm bells were going off in my head for vanilla snowflake type. I love vanilla snowflake type and that has spearmint in it, which really surprised me. When I read this, I thought to myself, this is probably vanilla snowflake with creme brulee or it's just vanilla snowflake, but I knew it was gonna be along those lines. I knew that that's the energy we were gonna get. Yeah, this is, this is Vanilla Snowflake, which is a very, very rich vanilla coconut with this hint, 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 hint of spearmint that it just adds this creaminess to the, the coconut. Just this cool, I don't know. If you haven't tried Vanilla Snowflake type and you're a person who likes vanillas and coconut, please do try it. It's so good. And I'm thrilled to have that from Glitterati. I have some Vanilla Snowflake from L3. I have some from Destination Wax. And now I have a souffle to try from Glitterati. So pleasantly, um, not surprised. It was exactly what I thought it would be. So I'm pleasantly right about that one. This is Wishing Well, Strawberry Pound Cake, Sweet Lavender, and Snowflakes in Cashmere. We know that I love a strawberry with a lavender every time. Every time it's gonna do it for me, every time. Snowflakes and Cashmere is a Bath and Body Works type that I absolutely love. I was looking at the back of it yesterday, the body wash, I have the body wash, and it's Snowflakes and Cashmere, it's caramel woods, toasted marshmallow, and something else. And it is a great, sweet, slightly wintry, musky slightly woodsy body care scent i was very curious as to how that would go with a strawberry lavender it works great this lavender is fabulous and then i smell the strawberry pound cake the lavender lavender can almost have a fruity quality and when you bring that strawberry pound cake in it just pulls it out in the best way I do smell that kind of rich 
blanket of cashmere, that luxurious, high-end, musky, slightly woodsy. Snowflakes and cashmere is more of like a high-end, luxurious, creamy scent. It goes really well with this. This is just beautiful, elevated, fruity herbal spa. Really like it. This is Maple Creamery, Buttered Maple, Vanilla Buttercream Crunch, and Creamy Vanilla. I am very iffy with maple scents. I like it to smell like the fake maple syrup. If it's too realistic, I'm not a fan of it. But I have had, it was like Vermont maple cake or something really good from Glitterati before that was a maple scent and I knew that it was the maple that I liked. So that's why I splurged for the souffle. It's so good. This to me smells like a plate of pancakes that you get at just like the best pancake place that's covered in like sweet, not real syrup and just whipped cream and it is just hot off of the stove. The whipped cream and the butter are like melting together. The syrup, oh, now I want pancakes, but that's what this smells like. And there isn't even a pancake note. This is just buttered maple, vanilla buttercream crunch, and creamy vanilla. It almost really just smells like the whipped cream and the syrup and the butter mixed together as they're melting on top of the pancakes. I feel like my brain might be filling in the pancake part, but oh my gosh, this is so good. I would definitely melt this in conjunction, alternating warmers with like a French toast or a pancake or something like that type of scent. This is Star Bright Vanilla Cashmere Yellow Cake Custard and Sugar Cookie Dough. I knew that I would like this. Another thing that I will love every time is a body care with a bakery, especially a vanilla. And with this one, I it's so good. I don't get a whole lot of that body care cashmere. Definitely mainly a yellow cake bakery scent, a fresh out of the oven, gooey, rich yellow cake. And then you just get this hint of maybe like if someone sprayed like a little bit of a Burberry goddess or something in a room while you were baking a cake and you just like kind of got it in the air. Maybe they didn't even spray it. They just walked by and you're like, ooh, what is this gourmand perfume mixing with this cake that I'm baking? That's what it's like in a in the best way. Really like that. Can't wait to melt it and see really what truly comes out the most on warm. This is Tropical Christmas. So this is chestnuts, white wood, Christmas cookies, and toasted coconut. I thought that this might be like where worlds collide when summer meets winter. When you go on, I mean, I can't say that I've ever done this, but if I was a person that went on like a tropical vacation in the winter and that there was just this like juxtaposition of it being January and you're somewhere really warm. And for me, this mainly is giving the summer. I'm not getting a whole lot of winter. Toasted coconut is a really nice scent. This white wood, if you have ever had the oil Shea in white wood, I've had it from multiple vendors now. It's a single oil. It is this really gentle, soft, creamy, very like rich lotion-y type of scent, almost like a cashmere, but it's Shea. It's definitely Shea. It has that rich, um, heavy Shea scent. And then the white wood is definitely like almost like a driftwood, a fresh wood. Not a smoky wood, not a tree, but like some fresh cut wood, maybe almost that you would, like wood that you would burn. I, I didn't explain that enough. Wood that you would burn maybe the same way that you would burn sage, but before it's burnt. Just like that really fresh. But the toasted coconut is what's the most prominent and it's good. It doesn't give like a plasticky or anything. It just gives this like, really um interesting sophisticated elevated coconut scent without it being like i don't think it would need to be summer for me to melt this i could melt this bedroom bathroom year round i probably will melt like half of it over the winter do some bedroom bathroom with it and then save the rest to do in the open concept as it's like 
going from winter to spring summer i think that would be a nice vibe for that one this one is sleigh ride apple cider donut mallow fireside vanilla birch palo santo and buttercream so i know that i like that apple cider donut oil from the sample this is this is so stunning I can't even express to you how much I love it. So the way that the Mala Fireside, the Vanilla Birch, and the Palo Santo blend together and they just give this smoky winter, you're like warming up at the fireplace and someone opens the door and the winter air comes in and you have this like smoky warmth and then a little bit of that crisp cool air. That's what that's giving. And then the apple cider donut just, it's so beautiful. It is this beautiful apple. It almost smells like you're roasting then an apple on that fresh fire. But you still get that fried dough. This is good. This is almost like when at, like winter atmosphere and bakery collide and it's a very tasteful pretty apple this is one that for sure i think that my wife one day i'll one day i'll be able to say it without being so excited that's probably not true i'm always gonna be excited to say it um i know that she would be fine with this like this is the type of apple that is well done really really good one would probably have even gotten that in a bigger size that's definitely a standout from this order for sure this one is elf snacks tonka sugar vanilla iced sugar cookie pretzels and cupcakes at tiffany's i was really curious about how the sweet and salty of this would work it's very well done it's, it's almost like what I get is a super sweet white cake, cupcakes at Tiffany's, white frosting with a little of almost like the Tonka sugar vanilla ice sugar cookie. It's the sweetness of beach nights without it being beach nights, like no perfuminess at all. And then the saltiness of the pretzel. This is such a good pretzel. Pretzel is not my favorite thing. It is very hit or miss for me. This is a fantastically well done pretzel on cold. I love this. I absolutely love how sweet, vanilla, rich, just compared with that saltiness it's it's good it's really good i'm very much looking forward to that one i have two more here so this one is vanilla autumn vanilla okay no that's one note vanilla pumpkin mallow bourbon butter sauce and palo santo really really good one um, the Palo Santo mixed with the vanilla pumpkin mallow is really nice. It definitely gives a toasted marshmallow effect, but you definitely smell the pumpkin and the vanilla, almost as if you were roasting over a fire a pumpkin marshmallow. And then the bourbon butter sauce adds this kind of richness, almost as if there was a hint of caramel in it, but without it being overwhelming. And it does have, like with the bourbon, it's almost a little hint of like an, an eggnoggy type of spice. I really enjoy that. That's going to be a nice, pretty, warm fall scent. And we have our last one here. This is Sweet Woods, Roasted Pine Cones, Lou's Bakery, and Toasted Marshmallow. Another Lou's Bakery blend with none other than one of my favorite notes, Roasted Pine Cones. I... I love a good roasted pine cones with bakery. It works so, so, so well. And yes, I have many a scent like this of roasted pine cones with bakery in my collection, but I had to see how it was done from Glitterati with specifically that Lou's Bakery blend because it's so good. And this is perfect. This to me is definitely bakery first, hint of roasted pine cones in the back. Does it really well, smells super creamy really looking forward to it it reminds me of um witches be crazy for roasted pine cones from teddy bees very similar to me really really good 
So that is everything that I got from the most recent Glitterati pre-order. Let me know, like I said, if you liked any of these scents, if you got any of them, and what your favorite Glitterati scents are so that I can hopefully request them in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching. I am so, so happy to be back. And like I said, videos to come. So looking forward to filming those and getting them up. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you like wax videos and I will see you in my next one.